Xavier from Jenner's Law USA. So check this out. This is how we call today. I'm with my friend, old time friend. And guys, who knows what it is? It's a Diablo Roost. Okay. Red Devil. See that? Oh, That's the name. You guys probably it's from, understand. It's from Canada. So. From Canada. And Dave's gonna explain exactly what this thing does. It's a snowmobile. Twin okay. track, power plant, belt drive, and 12 horse motor. Inverted, and motors don't, they're not supposed to run this way, but it's two stroke. So it will run laying flat, it'll run upside down. I would love to put a battery operated power plant in here and run the same thing and be totally quiet. No blue smoke, no pollution, no oil, no nothing, no oils, no nothing. And put a solar panel on the hood and let it recharge itself. So when I stop, and I gotta show you the most important part, so when I stop and I want it to recharge itself in the winter time, it's cold, it's nice out, sun's out. You plug it in. It recharges itself. Oh, guys, check this out. That's the other piece right here. So when you stop, you have to have your cold beer in there. <laughs> so when you're standing around having a cold beer with your buddies, bullshit about the machine, it's charging itself back up. This is pretty simple as far as I'm concerned. So I already got him all fired up today. And he's just the mechanic man, and uh, you guys can see it has a tracks right there. And all you Canadian friends, you guys know exactly what it is. This machine. Canadians know what this is. You guys, this one is from you guys. It's a tank right here. You see, I think he said he's gonna pull 20 miles an hour. That's about how fast it goes. 20, how fast it goes? 25 at the most. And look at this. It has the belt, and he called it what? Nuclear plant. <laughs> So, this is a snowmobile. It's terribly inefficient. So, what we thinking here, what he's thinking, because he's dragging me into this, because I'm the battery guy, so he can see, oh, he got even battery guy. That's electric start. Okay. 1968, had electric start. 1968, see? You think Tesla or whatever, you guys, what are you thinking about this technology is new? No, battery has been in stone age, guys. Wow. But I would love to put a battery power plant in here instead of a gasoline engine. So you have to have the motors that is going to steer up this thing. I still need to belt drive it. Yeah, the belt is going to be there, but the only thing you're going to do, just like when you have those big um, uh, pulley thing, which is going to be battery. The clutch. Yeah, it's going to pull this thing. All you do is push the throttle. Look at this. Look at this. This is a backwards thing because the Canadians... Um, this is the brake, right? Yeah. That's the brake and that's the gas right here. We do it in America, we do it right hand, left hand, they yeah. do it backwards. So you guys understand. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but Canadian it's, friends it's and not uh, going that fast, so Diablo, we call it? Diablo. Diablo. So you guys check it out on YouTube or see whatever and you see exactly where it's coming from. So today I already get it pumped. Oh look, even hey. That's the logo right Can there. See, not just talking, and he has been doing some crazy stuff. You know, this sled. Oh, you never explain about this. So how this? Oh, it just pins in. So this one just anchor. Ball joint. Just See, ball I'm joint dragging this thing right here. Yep. So it goes right there. Just pins in. And anchor itself so right it there. It, yeah, it articulates in the center. So you sit right here. You have your another buddy or whatever your wife sitting back here. Wait, wait, don't. The most important part. Yeah. You gotta put some beer in there. <laughs> you got some pop in there. You got some whatever. You sit here. Look at that. You got your feet on this thing. At least you get something to stop you from sliding. The stirrups. And uh, horse. you sit this one anchor right yeah. there. And this is the gas, the throttle. Here's the brake. So what you do, you swivel this bar. That's how you. You were talking about something on the thing that's kind of tilt a little bit. What at the as, oh, as far as the design of the it? The design, you Well, say. because there's no skis on it, mm -hmm. it articulates in the center. So when they design this, the center of gravity, the way the, the weight transfers, it's very easy to turn. You just push and you push. On the snow, of course, it's a lot slipperier. Mm -hmm. 
So you don't have to have skis on it if you can just give it a little shove and it'll turn and of course it articulates in the center so you're not turning all of your weight, you're only turning the weight of the machine. And once it's moving, it makes it just so much. It's like power steering. Power steering don't do nothing for you when you're not moving. When you're moving, you don't even realize it. And that's sort of how it works. So guys, you see the skis right there. I want to get a good shot and see how... Can you sit on it so we can, they can see? Well, I'd like see. to put some electric power to this thing. I think it'd be interesting. So, yeah, he likes all this snow. You, this thing. You, go. you don't go very fast. Kind of neat. Goes through some pretty deep snow. I know that. That's classic. Well, twin tracks. If you keep those tracks turning, you'll go through there. Yeah. So he said this is 19 what? 68. 1968. I have a 67 that I've rebuilt that's better than when it was that So, one. so guys, this is I what... I this one all the time. We come to a conclusion of this entire thing. Well, I'm giving it to you guys today, the Canadians. You know, you I find I don't like leaving it sit outside, but I'm in the middle of building a new garage. So, so this thing, we're going to see what we can do. And come up with some batteries, load the batteries. Maybe you can put the batteries here instead of the beer. Let's put them under the hood. No, I have to save room for my beer. Well, he can drink and drive. I'm a snowmobile guy. He can not drink and drive. Hey, <laughs> anybody that rides a snowmobile that's 50-some years old is probably my age and is probably having a few cold you See, I was like thinking that. because if you have the batteries, oh, yeah, it's going to be uh, connected, maybe wires coming there, like onto this thing, and you got like Anderson plugs there. You can det detach that and drag this sled all the way in, cover up this thing, stays outside, bring the batteries so it can be really, you know, um, warm instead of destroying the batteries so guys uh, tell me what you think this is a project here these guys already pumped up with this you're like oh no I got an idea that's why you don't try to meet with old friends because mm. they'll get you into all the stuff you guys miss from back in the day live here from the channel subscribe and share bye bye